Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you are checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. This past week, I told you that I was going to put my Dollar Tree hauls on hold because I wasn't finding anything. Well, I went to Dollar Tree with my BFF Camille on Wednesday, and lo and behold, I find something new. <laughs> so if I uh, do any hauls, they will be brought to you on Saturdays. And starting Tuesday, I'm going to start my new mini-series called Tuesday's Tour. So I hope you join me for that. Let me show you what I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to save the new items for last. So I went in because... Uh, I'm in the process of organizing my work binder and I needed pockets. So I found this jot, uh, it's called index divider pockets. You get five, they're multi multicolored. And I got three packs of these because I needed uh, several for the business binder. And then the extra I put in my ATC binder. Yeah, so um, if you have not heard yet, uh, if you want to do an ACT card exchange just send me an ATC card I will send one back to you and uh, I would love to have your information and then uh, beginning next year I hope to send birthday cards to all of you so um, you know there's no time frame you do it at your own pace and uh, yeah I, I think it's just fun I love seeing all your uh, creations all right let me show you what else I picked up uh, I have been doing some stenciling and I'm going to show you um, also at the end of this video I'm going to show you my project shares and it is stenciling. Um, so I picked up this stencil uh, packet by um, Crafter Square. I came home and I realized I already had it <laughs> which is okay. Uh, this one I don't mind having a couple of. This one has words like love, joy. I'm going to read the larger print ones. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> There's other there's other words live. Uh, there's other words on here, so I'm gonna let you look at that. So uh, a repurchase, but that's okay. Sometimes maybe the edges might get messed up or whatever, so it's it's okay to have a second one of this. Uh, kind of looked at the stickers, but uh, as as uh, recent, I haven't ever seen anything new. But I did see this. Uh, to me, this is new. Uh, these are alphabet stickers by Crafter Square. You get a bunch. And they are in silver, metallic silver. Aren't those pretty? I bought two because I always run out of a letter. And so it's always good to have a couple of those. I have the gold ones, but I, I didn't have the silver. So I picked that up. All right. Uh, my husband and I are always looking at the cleaning products at Dollar Tree, specifically at uh, the totally awesome uh, cleaners. We found a new cleaner. We had not ever seen this. This, I think, is more like a uh, Clorox cleanup. So when I'm done showering, I uh, wipe down the shower stall and then I step out of the shower and I spray the bottom with Clorox cleanup every day. Um, and so this is, a, uh, I think, a product like that. It's totally awesome cleaner. This is a 40 ounce bottle and it has the sprayer. We bought two of these. For a dollar. Then my husband is kind of looking right there and he goes, oh my gosh, they have the refill for a dollar. This is a 64 ounce bottle for a dollar. I'm like, oh wow. So once I get to using this, I will uh, do a review and let you know how I like it. All right. Uh, my husband picked up, so these were a couple of trips. One trip was with my husband and one trip was with my BFF, um, my husband picked up these two Matchbox cars. Now, I can't remember what he said these were, and I'm sure it's on there somewhere, but I know for sure they are a Dodge product. <laughs> That's all he's going to get. <laughs> so I'll let you look at those. Aren't they cool? He has a pretty good collection going on, so I thought that was fun. I picked up this yard stake for my front patio. I have a lot of them out there. I have some that have gnomes that are patriotic. I have stars. I have flags. Um, and now I have the little blue truck with the flag in the back. So I'll add that to my front patio 
uh, in my flower beds. Uh, cute, cute, cute. All right. Let's see. I think this is the last item, is it? I'm looking around, making sure. Yes, it is. So I was with Camille on Wednesday, like I said, and, uh, you know, we're looking around, and I'm like, I have never seen that. This, and, and, and I thought, when I saw it, all these uh, creative ideas started to come to mind, and I'm like, uh, I think that's a really cute, uh, cool idea. So what it is, it is a picture holder. It's a metal round picture holder with uh, clips where you can hang pictures, as you can see right there. I hope you can see that. Uh, so anyway, I thought this was a really cool idea. I mean, you can embellish this. You can put ribbon around it. You can put flowers and stuff like that. So then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I think I can make something pretty cool for the guys in the band for Father's Day. And then I'm like, oh, I can make a couple of them for my sisters for Mother's Day. So I picked up quite a few. They have it in black and they have it in white. So I picked up five of each. Isn't, I think they're cool. I, I just uh, thought they were a really cool uh, picture uh, display. So I came home and I put one together for myself. I was so excited. Um, so I sent over some pictures to Walgreens that I wanted to have in on this frame. And I picked out pictures of me and my parents when I was young. I want to share these pictures with you. They're kind of funny, but here we go. And I'll, I'll explain. So I want to share these pictures with you right there. Do you see that right there? I was about uh, seven years old or something like that. We, my dad and I are sitting at Disneyland. And then right on the other side is kind of identical picture with my mother and I at Disneyland. Okay, I'm gonna try to go over here. This picture, right, let me move, let me move one over here because it kind of got scooted over a little bit. Move this over right here. If you, oh, my dad's covered up. I'm gonna have to kind of figure out how to do this. Let me, there we go. Well, tuck that one in right there. This one here, with my mother wearing a blue suit and my dad in a black suit and I'm right there. I love that picture because I remember my mother playing with my hair as we were taking this picture. I think I was four or five years old. The one next to it, you see me wearing those crazy pants. Yeah, that was like 1974. <laughs> I was living at the school for the blind and they came to visit me and my mother used to get me these warm pants for the winter and uh i have i have i had a bunch of crazy designs C crazy when i outgrew all those pants she cut it up and made a quilt and i have that quilt and i think it's so funny it's cool but it's really funny then i added another picture up here of my dad in recent years um this is him and i at church and then right here is um, my dad, when we played at the nursing home, our band played for the, the residents at the nursing home. That's my dad and I after the gig or before the gig. I can't remember. So I put that together and that's going to be displayed in my craft room, but you can do anything. And then I added a blue bow and a red bow right here. So I, they're fun. They're fun, fun little picture frames. So I'm sending over pictures to Walgreens to get them printed for uh, my other projects, for uh, my sisters for Mother Day, Mother's Day and the band for Father's Day. And I'm printing all these pictures and I came across this picture I want to share with you. And I have a little cute story about it. This is a picture that was taken of me uh, once my uh, adoption was finalized. Um, and my mom says they kind of commemorated this with a picture and my mother used to love to dress me up in little bonnets and cute dresses well she put this once she got the picture back from the you know the the where she printed it she put it on a shelf and I was just starting to walk and I walked over there grabbed the picture and ripped it up <laughs> oh, 
I don't know. I don't remember that, but she did. And she has the original picture, and I have the original picture now. Um, and, and she taped it all up. And, of course, she had copies. But I have a copy of a copy, and it is faded. Let me show you the picture. This is me when I was two. <laughs> Oh, now this dress was a lot more, it was a bright pink and the background was blue. So it's faded, but that's me when I was two years old. <laughs> I ran over there and ripped the picture off, ripped the picture, you know, in half. So that's kind of funny. Just a funny story. All right, I have a project here. That's, that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Oh my gosh. So, uh, like I told you before, I have been uh, practicing stenciling and having fun with it. Uh, I'm using stencils. I'm using uh, just a blank card stock that I, I got some cards that were already made cards from Target. So those are the ones I'm using. I'm using photo paper for my card fronts. So that's what I stenciled were the, uh, was the photo paper. So I'll show you my stencil work. This is my first kind of stenciling uh, that I did. And I'm using um, Distress Inks and then stickers and washi tape. So here's my first one. All these cards are gonna be going to the nursing home um, where my dad uh, was living. And I am donating these ones for the month of May for their birthdays. So there's one. They're all identical, because I'm just trying to you know, uh, get some of these uh, made ahead of time for them. I just had so much fun. Uh, what I did is um, put the, the happy birthday stencil down and I got my distress ink with, uh, let me see if I have that brush here. It's a, it's a makeup brush and I'm using that, getting some ink on that and then just gently uh, going over the stencil with the ink. And then of course, uh, when I do other colors, I just clean that off. All right, uh, more cards. So they wanted five cards for females and one card for males. So they can choose how they want to distribute these out. All right. Um, and then this one here. So I want to show you just a little trick. So I had some stencil bleed under there. So I just added a sticker. Yeah, don't throw it away. Just kind of be creative and add some more embellishments. So those are the cards that I created with stencils, distress inks, photo paper, and washi tape. Uh, and so these will, I will be taking these to the nursing home on Tuesday so they can have them for their May birthdays. And I'm going to try to get some more done ahead of time. So um, I don't want to be like rushing to get them done uh, because I want them to have um, as nice card as I can uh, give them for their birthdays. All right, is that all I have? Yeah, I will be inserting a picture at the end of this video um, once I upload it of my progress of my diamond painting. Oh my gosh, I've put in a lot of time this week. I showed it to you last week on where I was starting and I have put quite a bit of work on it. I have a long ways to go, but like Karen, my sweet friend Karen over at Cal uh, California Karen 789 said, one drill at a time. Yes, my friend, one drill at a time. So I'm gonna insert a picture at the end of this video showing my diamond painting prog progress. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for just a bit. I really do appreciate all your love and support. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.